Riverdale, California. Correct. Yes. Yes. So what are you doing now to... I teach modeling and etiquette, and I have wrote a book, and author of the first black etiquette book ever written by a black author and after American Black author. etiquette. No, etiquette for, <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. etiquette for, directed for black women, but it's the first one etiquette book ever written by an Afro-American artist. Now, give me an idea of, of why this book is, is different. Because it talks about kinky hair, one thing, and it talks about... You mentioned kinky hair? Oh, absolutely. What is kinky hair? Well, bad hair and good hair. What is that, bad hair? That's what I want them to understand. There's good. no such thing as bad hair. Don't use that term. It should be depleted from the city. Absolutely. <laughs> the city of Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. is notorious mm -hmm. because the population, the ratio, mm -hmm. something like 11 women to one man, mm -hmm. that's highly competitive. Oh, yes. Yeah. How? Can you compete with good manners if there's a mad rush? <laughs> oh, there's a way. Now, how are you going to win him and maintain etiquette? Well, number one, I would pay a lot of attention to him, but ignore him at the same time. I would care for Now, him. wait, stop right there. <laughs> because I have no idea how you're going. Do you know how you're being ignored, but attention is being paid to you? I've never heard that before. Never heard of it? No, well, I, it, obviously it has happened to you and you haven't recognized it. <laughs> All right. So now you're telling uh, these women, mm -hmm. okay, know what he likes. Know what he likes. Find, know out. What he, hmm? Find out what he Find likes. Find out what he likes. All right, mm -hmm. we've done that. Mm -hmm. Now what do we do? He likes fast cars. Mm -hmm. He likes expensive wristwatches. Mm -hmm. And he, he loves to dress uh, smoothly. Uh -huh. The what? <laughs> so you get a job. No, no, you don't understand. This is Washington, D.C. And there are 11 women after this man. He has a job. <laughs> Timothy Rambo. Sir, Rambo. Exterminator. Sometimes people call me to get rid of pests. Is this your company? Yeah. Rambo Exterminating, we take no prisoners. <laughs> you, you, you've got your own truck? We use our car, it's more discreet. <laughs> but uh, but I, I mean, I've, I've seen the, the bigger companies, the guy comes with a big truck. Isn't that ridiculous? <laughs> Okay, let's give away some money. Uh, I'll start you with $750. You bet as much as you have on each of your three questions. Your category is legally speaking. How much do you want to wager on your first question? $225. $225. <laughs> Legally speaking is the category. Technically, it's given after a conviction. But Richard Nixon was never convicted, and Gerald Ford gave him one anyway. What is it? Heart. Correct. <laughs> I don't think you're paying attention to your book. <laughs> no, when I get money, I need How much is it? Two, 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 two seventy-five. Two you're blaming it on him. Yes. If you print something about someone that's malicious and false, it's libel. What is it if you say those same things? Slander. Yeah, I think that's called slander. slander. Correct. <laughs> Four point five. Four twenty five. <laughs> Legally speaking, what four letter adjective describes a jury that cannot reach a decision? That uh hung is correct. <laughs> 